Okay. Hello. Oh man, how's it going? Good. How are you? Good, good, good. I haven't seen that uh uh since we last talked, I haven't seen that uh that background. Except I saw it on other uh like uh places you you've uh been uh but it's but. it's become my Zoom trademark. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. I'm sure there's uh some history. Um, symbolism. Yes. It's, it, it's describing how the name of God in Hebrew looks like the shape of a human being. Okay. 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 So the actual, the actual word of God. Is... The actual name of God looks like, so a human being, the body of a human being, see the first letter is the yod is like the head yeah. and then the hey is like the torso and then you, there's the vav you know and the hey you know you unitarians and and jewish folk sure <laughs> have a have a way of like of like it's almost like you're hinting uh to people that you believe in jesus or <laughs> like I, I believe all human beings are made in the image of god and, yeah. See? Yeah, yeah. That's all it. human beings. Yeah. Including you. Yeah. yeah. They, and uh, including including yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Oh, Amen. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So this, this, uh, well, this fishing trip, what's, do you, do you want to, uh, what's, what's going on with the, the fishing trip? What are, what are you guys, I'm I'm scared this fishing trip's gonna become like some huge internet thing because I just talked to Anthony about it too, <laughs> on 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 video. Um, so yeah, it's the week after Fourth of July weekend in Arkansas, and uh, so we've decided like Saturday afternoon we're gonna have a public meetup. Anybody who wants to come, and um, like. We're splitting up into different groups, but um, you know, some people. I'm gonna drive there. Uh, I'm I'm planning on leaving like on Wednesday, and on the way there, um, like visiting people, and then, um, yeah. So uh, Charlie is going to take uh, me and Sam fishing. We've been we've been uh, we've been planning that for a while, and then. So we talked to some other people and then other people. And then, so like already like six or seven people are coming. Uh, and Arkansas is just so central. So like we kind of went, hey, we'll have a public meeting when any, where anybody can come. And then if people are also gonna go fishing or camping or whatever, they can, they can make their own arrangements. We've we've already uh, got our campsites and stuff, and like, if people want to bring families or whatever they want to do, and then we'll have at least that Saturday afternoon public meetup for anybody who wants to to show up. Wow! 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 That's a little bit interesting. I've been having a lot of uh, outdoor dreams. So it's a little bit, uh, it's got some, It's COVID. Uh, Everybody wants to get outside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's true. I think there is some, there probably is a little bit of like, uh, compensatory, like, uh, stuff going, like, uh, functions going on. But, um, yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's, that's awesome though. That's awesome though. Um, hold on one second. And Shane uh, and uh, sorry, Anthony and I were actually talking about possibly um, making some sort of like men's group, um, like either fitness or you know some sort of charitable group or something like that. Um, you know, just like guys hanging out, uh, maybe even maybe doing some martial arts or some you know, playing sports or whatever, uh, and just like mentorship, you know? Yeah. 
that yeah. type of stuff. Yeah, I was I was thinking last when I uh, last time I was up uh, in uh, uh, Phoenix, I wanted to like uh, go on the mats with uh, 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 with Anthony. Like that that would have been uh, hilarious, and like put it uh, put it on Discord or something. Uh, yeah, he's been competitively playing. Uh, he's been competitive competing in martial arts. I don't, I don't know what what exact ma martial arts. Do you do martial arts? Um, I did. Um, like I do some boxing. Uh, uh, but but not like uh, not crazy. Like nothing, nothing. Uh, not competitively. Uh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, just enough to keep like my my heart going, right? Um, yeah, I, I think I saw you uh, training once on 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 Discord. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was that was a. Uh, I, I was I might do that more uh, regularly. I was thinking thinking about maybe doing like a you know every morning just like at least like 15, 20 minutes and maybe uh, half an hour so people could like uh, get on and just like follow along or, or do their own uh, stuff. So that was, that was, that was one idea. I was like, that, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Uh, uh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I thought like just for people to like, Oh, I have something that I know I'm going to get my, like uh, get something, you know, something in that, in that uh, arena, you know, I like it. I like it. It's, it's kind of like the netting club, but more, but, Better. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, yeah, it's like it's like a moving club. We're just we're just moving for for uh, half an hour. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm just glad I have to walk my dog every day. Like that that, you know, it's at, at least that keeps me. I'm I'm not very athletic at all. Like I I was telling Anthony the same thing. Like uh, the my GPA like PE always drug my. <laughs> GPA down when I was in school. Yeah, and, yeah, that's, that's some people. Some people are more uh, brainy uh, for sure, and I think I think whether you're more brainy or more physical, like those things can like like if you're more brainy, you could sort of like think your way into into like like having something like your dog, like that's that's pretty that's routine, and you 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 have it, and and um, I don't know. I was thinking about the like the divinity of jesus like somehow being connected to like his his body and like like i i do think about that quite quite a lot because i think most of most of the best states that i can be in is either is either it's either like you know if you're in a mathematical space that can that can get pretty like wild right and then if if i'm moving like that connects me with with something i feel like um i i think one thing that i've learned um as, especially with jordan peterson as well is how embodied our mind really is we we kind of we have this dichotomy and i and i certainly had bought into it when i was younger where you know we think of our mind as somehow being disembodied but what what actually reminds me most of it is when when I go shopping at Costco, all right, if I'm hungry, I will buy a lot more food than if I'm not hungry. And it's like we, yeah. we don't actually consider that, right? Uh, uh, yeah, that's actually a great example of how embodied our minds like that's that's. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. Yeah, totally. And I actually I do just as a as a personal preference, like I think I think it's actually smarter to go to the store. People say don't go to the store. Like when you go to the store when you're hungry, it's got such like a like it's such a numinous, uh, like crazy experience to go to the store when you're when like it's it's beautiful. Like everything's <laughs> like, and then like, it's way better to go uh, to the store when you're hungry, I believe. That's, that's my, like, just, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I mean, I, I, can, I can see why you would do that, um, but don't do it at Costco because you'll end up with like these <laughs> huge cartons. 
right 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 you'll have you'll have someone like uh on the forklifts like bringing out uh a big old right thing. right <laughs> and if you live alone like me like you'll end up throwing half of it away so like yeah it's not a good idea yeah 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 okay yeah there is there is there is a uh sometimes you gotta you gotta temper that especially like if you're if you're like uh saving i guess but but yeah 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 um yeah sometimes you gotta uh temper it but but um but yeah 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 so so um what have uh i guess i'd ask like what have you been been up to i mean we can talk we can definitely we can talk more about the body like for sure um because so okay the i i don't know if you saw my video with um gavin he he has a channel hero looking for group okay yeah and um so gavin and i have been talking a lot about cognitive outsourcing which is yeah. how yeah. you know we will have other people do our thinking for us and actually ginger bill yesterday um i haven't read it yet but he sent me this uh paper on epistemology which talks about you know we keep on telling everybody to think for themselves but that's actually not a good epistemological strategy okay if, Okay, I had I had some thoughts uh, on that, um, but I'll let you I'll let you uh, finish finish your your thought and then I can like. Well, I mean, if if there's something that requires expertise, right? So what's best to do, I believe, is to look at various experts, right, and hopefully people you can trust, and actually that's what me and Gavin have been working on is like, who can you trust, right? So obviously if I'm sick, I wanna go to a doctor. I don't wanna, you know, try to be my own internet doctor. I wanna go to a doctor <laughs> and get information from the doctor. And if it's something important, get a second opinion, maybe even get a third opinion right? And maybe you want to talk, you know, to um, people from different, who have different ways of looking at that thing, right? So you might want to talk to a psychologist um, who isn't a psychiatrist, so that you, you see, like, the not medication view of it. Or you might want to talk to a pharmacist, to see the purely medicational point of it, right? But you go to, and you know, it doesn't just have to be with medicine, right? So it could be with anything. You can you can look at people who come from different disciplines and how they view whatever it is. But the best way is to actually be able to find people that you can trust to be honest and knowledgeable, right? And that's really important. And when we tell people to think for themselves all the time, right? People make two mistakes. One is they may actually try to think for themselves about things which they are not adequately trained about. Sure. But the other thing is reminds they will me, just deny to how Descartes tried to build uh like how Descartes tried to build his own his own system, starting with the axiom "I think, therefore, like I am," well, or or Peterson's "like okay, I suffer, therefore I am." Like, we're not all Descartes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. We're not all Descartes, and uh, yeah. so right. we are able to read what he what he wrote, right, and look at what other people said, right. So yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not saying you shouldn't think, mm -hmm. but you should be aware of when it is a good idea to get information from somebody else and how to evaluate that 
So I think it's it's more important to think about how we outsource our cognition rather than trying not to outsource it at all. Right, 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 right. So I think one one axiom that is good, it's like thinking for yourselves. I think it is important to, and I thought this a lot when I was when I was younger. Uh, when you brought it up, I was, uh, but I I thought about uh, it the uh, like seeing the world through uh, like your own eyes or in a in a bottom up uh, like seeing the world through through your own eyes. I think is like uh, important. And I think that has to do. I think that has to that does have to do with. Um, that has to do with evaluating the information and knowing. So you do know you do outsource your cognition, and you should know how uh, to you're doing that and be able to evaluate like a source, I guess. Yeah. Right, and and I think that's that's the really important part. A lot of people just they they, you know, especially like. I've I've seen some people will say things like, oh, well, that's a logical fallacy, right, for an argument, right? And it's like, well, uh, you you haven't thought about your epistemology enough if you think that just because there's a fallacy in an argument, that that doesn't mean it's it's a convincing and worthwhile argument, right? So appeal to authority is a logical fallacy because just because an authority says something doesn't mean that it's true. And we should always keep that in mind, right? So authorities can be wrong and we have to distrust them to some extent. But if you have somebody who's a valid authority, then it's a good reason. It's good to actually hear what they have to say, right? Because you're trying to find relevant information and it's you're more likely to find relevant information from an authority than you are from somebody who's not an authority, right? Uh, so while logically, you know, you could be you could possibly find the right answer anywhere, you have to use these heuristics to try to find the best answer as quickly as you can. Right. 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 And finding the, the right answer quickly or a good answer, it doesn't even have to be the perfect answer. Right. 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 So, that's, that's the, like the, the uh, Petersonian uh, good enough. Right. Or the pragmatist. Yeah. 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 There's a, there, that, and that does exist. Like I know there's such a thing as good enough for most, uh, most information. Right? Yeah, I mean, so we, we, we really need to deal more with heuristics and because we've gotten into this. Um, so I'm still trying to finish. I've been reading this forever, but uh, The Master and His Emissary by Ian McGilchrist. Right. Um, and so he, you know, he, part of what he's talking about is we've become too uh, focused on um, what he broadly calls the emissary, the left brain, right? Which is, looks at pieces and parts and um, looks at things differently than the right brain does, right? The, the, the master, right? And so I, I think, Part of that is the willingness to um, things that are not perfectly modeled, that are not, um, you know, that don't fit into the logical frameworks that we've set up, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, good enough is sometimes, is, you know, you, yeah. Yes. And, and I would say like, like there is, and there is sometimes the information you need is crucial to like, if you're uh, like, you mentioned the doctor, like that information you want to take more seriously, like, like the, um, like getting, getting the, 
being accurate there is much more important so getting like the the second opinion and 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 you know when it comes to like matters of life and death like that's that's when you want a full scope of like uh, or a full uh fuller picture i would guess or i would say yeah, yeah you 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 want to investigate more i mean if if yeah. the doctor says we they have to chop off your right arm right that's that's you know you're you're going to go get a second opinion and you're going to go look for a better uh, you know but if you have a cold and you you just need some antibiotics then you might go to you know the nurse practitioner if you know at the urgent care right you're not going to let them cut off your arm at the urgent care <laughs> unless, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 like, hopefully, unless it's like, you know. Um, so having, having, I think we need to actually think about epistemology more, right? How do we know things? What, how important is it that we know things, certain things? And I think that if we were to do it more intelligently, and that's what I've been talking to Gavin about, is how do we more intelligently make sure that we get relevant information, information that is of interest to us, that is useful to us. Um, and look, part of the problem is we can't trust a lot of our experts, right? because they lie to us and we know that they lie to us. And sometimes, you know, me just Googling something for 10 minutes, I find, well, there's two problems with that. I'm gonna find information I like, which may be confirmation bias, right? So that is a huge problem, but, uh, sometimes I am able to find better answers, right? Like I was having trouble with, with my nails and I looked up, I, I had vi a vitamin de deficiency, okay. right? Okay. So, Who did you go to? I, I didn't go to a doctor, but like, I, I, I just, I just Googled it. Like what's, why are my nails so brittle? Right. And so I, I bought whatever the, um, I forget what, uh, what it was that I, I was missing, but it was a vitamin I was missing, right? And I, so, and what I do is I, I put all the medications that I take into, uh, there's a website that like keep, keeps track of them, right? Because I take medications and I put that vitamin in and there was an interaction and it said, yeah, this medication that you took, that you that I take, causes, well, I don't take it anymore, but causes you to have to not absorb this vitamin as much. And I'm like, well, thank you for talking now. Right. So a friend of mine started taking the same medication and I and I was like, here, take these vitamins. <laughs> because, you know, and so there are things you find out yourself, which like your doctor and your pharmacist and stuff don't tell you, which makes us distrust them. But um, at the same time, we, we, need to, we need to keep all of these things in mind, right? Google is great. Wikipedia is great. WebMD is great. It's but doctors and their incentives right yes 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 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Keep, you can you can keep uh keep going yeah, yeah. so well, what what gavin and i have been trying to think of is ways of uh improving our the ways we we outsource our cognition to each other okay um unfortunately it it seems like we were hoping so gavin is a computer programmer and he knows computer programming which i don't and um so 
we were hoping that we would be able to use technology to help us do that better. And um, unfortunately, there's just so much to track that I'm not sure we're able to figure out a way of tracking that via technology, right? Because when the two of us talk to each other, right? Like I'm talking to you, um, there's so much information that the two of us are keeping track of. Like for example, um, in the middle of discussing this right now, I could, I could say to you, um, today is, is uh, Persian New Year, which it is. Right. Happy New Year. Um, <laughs> and so you easily understand that that's, oh, so that's something completely different, right? Right. right. But if we're like trying to log this conversation, Right. How do you put that information right outside of everything we're talking about? Then, well, then I would ask why, so that it wasn't outside, right? <laughs> I would be okay. like, why, why Persian New Year? Like, like, uh, or uh, yeah, yeah, or um, but you were saying like putting it. I would have to find a way to put it outside of the. Well, that's the so. We're talking about one thing, right? The two of us, yeah. right? And so somebody who's listening to us talk, yeah. that bit of information right. may not be something they're interested in at all, right? Right, right. and I think, I think the way, what, what we do is we go, oh, that's separate, but sometimes separate, it's like you need that little, uh, extra in order to make things like interesting sometimes so it'd be so it'd be like a help it'd be it could be a help in making the the information or the or the uh the the podcast like in the context like oh making it uh uh interesting i guess um but uh, well that's what was going on with like the lord lord of spirits uh podcast right like i was i was telling andrea i i think they chit chat too much right and right. she's and she really likes the chit chat yeah yeah right yeah. Yeah. and and so like okay if we were able to have an automatic transcript of our conversation right or if if we were like actually typing this out right just categorizing information and putting it it's we track so many things with our mind automatically that we haven't really figured out how to locate information and like okay this is information that i'm interested in this is information that shane would be interested in this is information that andrea would be inter interested in and there's like all these Venn diagrams, right? Of where those overlap or not. And the more people you get, right? And like, so, I mean, library science, this categorizing of information, putting it in places. Right. Um, it's just so complex. Yeah, yeah. So like the Dewey Decimal System is-, is <laughs> Right. People, people, like that's that's- basically putting books into into oh, I forgot how that how they exactly it's 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 more than just putting yeah there, there are all those books. subjects right 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 it's something it's something else though I I think but but um but yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's 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 really interesting. And like how people like um, like people will uh, separate parts of uh, a YouTube video into like the the different uh, the different things that are are brought up. Yeah, yeah. But do you so, do you uh, actually do that? Do you actually only watch the segments? Because I end up watching the whole thing. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've, I've never, I've never uh, went to specific uh, segments. I either watch the whole thing or I watch it from the clips channel, but I don't go to the segments on the um, on the actual video. But I think it is it is useful and and uh, at least fun. Uh, uh, at, at least fun for the people who do it to to, to separate it. Yeah, I, I mean, so Gavin, I mean, he has two kids. Like, who knows, so, who knows when that skill of uh, is going to, like, be uh, helpful, I guess. Yeah. Well, so he has a lot less time than I do because, like, I will, I will have, I will be playing, like, podcasts and YouTube videos on one and a half speed, like, the all day long while I do other things, right? And, but he's married and he's got two kids and he's got, so like, if I send him a whole video, it's like, he can't sit there and watch a two hour video, right? And so it's, um, I different people have different information needs and different interests and, Part of part of the problem is actually um, part of the problem is I don't know what he knows and what he doesn't know, right? Because we've we've only known each other for a certain amount of time, right? Right. Right. So, right. so that's that's just, the importance of having conversation, like oh, getting to know like somebody's somebody's like uh, interests and their their information needs. Like like I I have like. Yeah, as like we're we're having like this conversation, I was thinking like, oh, like who do I need to talk to uh, in my life? Like sometimes people will like, um, like like uh, I was thinking like, oh, I gotta I gotta talk to to my brother, and I had some vague notion about what we'd like. I had some vague notion, but it was like it was like, um, oh, that that's really uh, like relevant i guess i guess and and like it was just i was just like thinking of different um yeah so i'd, I'd go back to like the um getting to know what somebody's like interests are and and what their um like life is is composed of because because yeah yeah and and i imagine gavin like his the information like that he would uh, need. I haven't, I haven't met uh, Gavin, but it's like, oh, the information that helps you navigate uh, um, a, a domestic traditional uh, uh, um, uh, like landscape in, in, in a, uh, in a like practical and like uh, efficient uh, way. Yeah, landscape is actually a really good word for it. I think, you know, um, this idea of maps that we have, right? And yeah, the the only thing is it's like, it's, we do so much of it naturally, right? Because, okay, um, I know you're, what, in your 20s, right? Yeah. And um, and you know, you you also live in the West Coast like I do, and you know, so I I know so many things about you, and um, it there's there's so much that's already a um, that's that's already assumed between two people. And as we talk to each other, we we easily adjust, right? Like um, if I start using words that you you're you're not getting, right? Your facial features will give me that feedback, and I'll you know I will adjust. Or if I'm talking about something, you know, 
you you know when to stop and but when you're communicating in writing right i could be writing 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 with no feedback like we have visually here and i could totally lose you right 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 and i think that's that's why like also having like a stream of of like conversation especially like a stream of conversation where where small it's like it's like when you have a a stream of conversation right back and forth and you're doing it and and there's there's oh like picking out the small mental things like oh i think i should mention this to the person i think i should like uh write this small thing like filling in it's it's like trying to do that but in a way to where it like uh trying to fit their mental uh space but you're 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 it's yeah it's a different it's a different way you do that through through like uh a communicating back and forth online if you want to do it you know in a like getting to to know someone or establishing like uh like uh trust or like or like i guess like a certain degree of like uh nuance or like or yeah 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 um, and then sometimes and so i mean gavin and i so far have only been talking about two-way communication uh, but sometimes when you like have an audience right then um then you're you're actually communicating to multiple people at the same time right and sometimes you're saying things for one person and sometimes you're saying things like to to both of them and or like on a message that, board well or even you know when um like we're in in a room uh, you know in a chat room on on the discord server right um like you'll notice that only the people who have their video on will will usually do the talking right mm -hmm. that will be talking to each other and like the people who don't have their video on often will not get involved in the conversation at all yeah unless unless they happen to be like really good at like at being like a little bit pushy <laughs> then then they'll end up yeah well that's because you know what we see the facial features when your video's on, you can tell, oh, that person wants to speak, right? And that type of visual feedback is one thing I, I have grown more and more to believe is part of the problem we have, like with people getting into fights online on Facebook and um, Twitter is there isn't that visual feedback mechanism. Like on video, communication is is a lot more responsive and a lot more cooperative. Yeah, yeah, it's much more conducive to, yeah, good good conversation for sure. Right, and and you know one thing I, I think that people don't necessarily read everything you write when you're typing, right? When you type a message, they don't necessarily read and think about everything you wrote when they're responding and they'll just like respond. Whereas when we're talking with each other, you're, you're kind of forced to listen to the whole thing I say, right? And that slows things down so that we pay attention to each other more, hear each other more, yeah. think about what the other person is saying more than I think we necessarily do online. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, in writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there is something more, it's almost more difficult uh, or more, uh, 
more like less i think less uh choppy like like you can if if somebody's um i think good speakers have a way of of um doing that oh i'm talking about this and then i'm talking about uh that and then and they're better at like uh like dishing dishing out basically like present presentation um and then uh that's but that's a little bit maybe easier to do through text i think i think that's easier to do through through text is is be able to uh parse out uh information like i have an easier time parsing out informational chunks in in like um unless i mean sometimes i can i can do it with with voice but but with text it seems uh well i think there's ways to do it with both basically but but i think it's it's that's the first place i learned how to do it uh might have been through through text yeah well with text you can you can edit which is which you can't do with voice right and you can take your time which i wish more people would um take their time and what i do like about text is that you don't have to worry about interrupting someone because when we're talking with each other right it's it's easy to interrupt people or to not say something because you would be interrupting right especially when you get a large number of people right once once you're more than three people sometimes you would interrupt the flow by saying what you want to say and i think in text that's one of the reasons i like like i i think the discussions we have in the forum being in text actually makes more sense because then everyone gets to say everything they want to say right and there's no sort of time limitation there's no interrupting each other there's you know um and people can can think about and um even you know I, I, for example a lot of times in the forum i will go and look up um especially bible verses and stuff right and cite them and look you know, and 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 even double check things, you know, because sometimes you're not sure if you remember something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. It does seem more like a a like like uh, like tagging in, tagging out, like with uh with with voice. Like there is there is that like uh, uh I don't know what I'd what I'd call it uh like uh, uh yeah tag uh I guess like conversational uh tag and i think like it's um i think it is more like like when you're when you're talking uh within in voice there is um something more like when when you're done it's like more it almost seems like an accomplishment like oh i just had like a really good uh conversation and there's something a little bit more uh lucid i guess about about speaking uh like one-on-one -on -one, i guess or or uh face to face with like with like the the camera yeah yeah and then even and then like actually physically like that's that's and that's a whole different uh uh story though yeah yeah being being in the same room with someone i mean especially now with but it's become yeah I, I i this year i mean if you had told me a year ago like a year and a half ago that we would spend a year in basic isolation you know like i haven't seen a lot of my good friends in over a year right people that I generally would see, um, you know, once 
once and and certainly a lot of family members that I would have definitely seen, right? It's only my closest family, like my parents, my sister, my nephew. Have you right? tried to like, have you tried? Um, in like physically, like we, we've done various, like certainly we've, we've been doing a lot more online communication, you know, with video and stuff than we ever did before. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah I mean, in Los Angeles, People are pretty like we're. I think we're definitely a lot more locked down than the rest of the country is. And um, also, what I've noticed is so for me <clears throat> and my clients, we seem to be living a very different lifestyle than like my friends who work in the tech sector, who you know, they've all been working from home and they've really been isolating. Like my friends who work in the tech sector, as opposed to people who like have to go to work, right? They, they seem to be living a much more uh, antiseptic life than I think people who have to go to work have been able to and have been doing antiseptic yeah that's the that's the that's the word and i think i think there is like with with people who have been it's like there's pluses on on both sides of being like however whatever your mode of being is right now. like if you're if you're doing the antiseptic thing like you're you've got the the you know purity on your side and if you're if you're uh going the you know i'm going out uh, uh route that's you've got uh ruggedness uh, yeah. or something on on your your side so there's yeah yeah i i i honestly think way too many people are way too scared of corona despite being young and healthy and i think too many people who are not young and healthy are, I mean, we've, we've been using a lot of one size fits all stuff, right? So if, if you have asthma, obviously you need to take it a lot more seriously than somebody who doesn't. Or like if you're in your eighties, you know what I mean? Uh, you muted yourself, Shane. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Um, I was, I thought I was uh, muted, but I guess I was unmuted, and then I muted. Um, but and now I'm unmuted. So, um, okay. So I think that I like, um, like I realized the only, the only reason I was because there is a, a a big part of me that's like you know don't follow these established, don't follow the established rules. Like, like, but, but then like, just. You're a young man, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, I mean, and then it's like, <laughs> and I'm, I'm probably going to get uh, crap. I might, I'm, uh, you know, no, I think, I think I, I realized that I had to, that I was a perfect, uh, specimen for like asymptomatic carrier so that's what made me i was like okay so maybe i should be be thoughtful because like the virus could totally i'm the perfect person to be spreading it without without like you know noticing it one bit like da da da, da, da here's here's uh uh coronavirus uh <laughs> but yeah 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 and i think it like but at the same you, you could kill half of uh california without knowing it <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Within like, yeah, yeah. And I have like, like I'm very, uh, I have long arms. So it's like, I can, I can do a lot of, I'm like a, a crop duster. <laughs> Corona uh, crop. Yeah. Uh, have, have you, are you, um, 
I have no idea when I would be up for taking the vaccine. Like my parents already took the vaccine and I haven't really been like, I've, I've kind of been like, if other people need it before me, I don't necessarily feel like I need to go like stand in line before them. But, and my sister's a doctor and her husband's a doctor. So they both got vaccinated. Um, but for, for me, I haven't even really considered like if it's available, I I'm pretty sure it's not available to me because I know there are people who still are trying to get the vaccine, but I, I have no idea when I would be getting vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I would at this, at this point just just because i'd have to do a lot of research just because there's there's uh, i probably there's just so much that i don't know about coronavirus and like how how it started and what the like like i i have too many like gaps too many conspiratorial uh uh gaps like i'm not i'm not i'm I'm thinking well, okay let, let me let me put your mind at rest it it escaped from a chinese lab <laughs> okay okay so <laughs> what, what what somebody uh there was a bat what somebody ate a, a bad bat no. yeah that that was the original story but right now the the most likely story not the story you're allowed to tell on youtube though so i don't know <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but the the actual like most likely story, and actually this leads me to the other thing I want I I want to talk to you about. Um, <laughs> the most likely story is that it escaped from a research lab in China that was experimenting with what's called gain of function research, which is when you um, when they mutate deliberately mutate a uh, virus in order to find out how it would work if it gained function. The sure. other thing I have really been getting into recently is UFOs. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because the information coming out on UFOs is making me lose my mind. There's a new book out. I'm 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 halfway through it called Extraterrestrial by Avi Loeb. Um he was he he went on Joe Rogan recently. Um and like he gives a lot of good reasons to think that there are extraterrestrials. And yeah, yeah. And then I don't know if you watched the interview between Lex Friedman did with Commander Fravor? Not not yet, no. Watch that interview. Oh my god. Yeah. I am convinced there are aliens on earth. I I'm, I'm convinced. And and I am not a UFO guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the information, right? You you your your uh your cognitive uh outsourcing uh, it's it, it, it's not even that it's like okay there are three possibilities i see your or One, your cognitive insourcing from the uh, well I, I i i looked at the information that's available and it's like oh my god this information is mind-blowing um yeah i know <laughs> so like there's three possibilities either there are aliens on earth or the Chinese or the Russians have technology that we have no idea how they ha got it, or they're, the Chinese and the Russians are fooling our Navy in like really scary ways. Those, those, those are the only, Ginger Bill yesterday gave this theory of a comet that's like, and it's like no 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 I'm sorry uh, I'm sorry Bill that's that that doesn't cut it 
Okay. Like those, those are the three possibilities I see. And I realize I sound like a crazy UFO nut, but like watch the interview. Yeah. Watch that yeah. interview. Yeah, no, you've you've come to you've come this is a safe you've come to a safe place. You've come to a safe uh, Okay. Place. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can you can uh, talk about about uh, UFOs as as much as uh, uh, you want. I was actually when I was listening to you guys, uh, like I was I was a little bit uh, in and out, and I came in, and I was like, uh, uh, like heard you guys talking UFOs, and I was kind of like part of me, like I was walking around like, ah, uh, told these fuckers, like I told, <laughs> like I I. Uh, I, I part of me was like had this like uh oh I've I've my uh my brain's been tracking this for really because yeah. I'm I'm not a UFO person I I always I always thought it was crazy yeah like, yeah I thought it's I've it's been I thought it's been fun it's been fun to think about like and and so I've I've um I'd say like I'm a UFO guy in in uh i think about it like in pure in in symbolic terms and then just for yeah in symbolic terms uh mostly like i think it's interesting i i've been I've, yeah that like the more i think about it and reading this book extraterrestrial like avi Loeb, he's not a crackpot he he was the chairman of the astrophysics department at harvard okay <laughs> Yeah, that's that's quite the position. That's 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 uh, appeal. Uh, that's authority, right? Yeah, and and his book, like, I mean, I I don't understand all the physics, but like his book is like I'm I'm looking at the stuff and like what position did NASA's have? been coming up? What what position did he have? He used to be the chair of the Department of Astrophysics okay. in, at Harvard. Yes, yes. He's still a professor of astrophysics there. Um, and like his book came out recently. Um, it's called Extraterrestrial. And it's about like, so the name of it is Umuamua, which like is a weird Hawaiian name. But like we... <laughs> I don't understand why this isn't bigger news. Like we should be paying more attention to this, but I think a lot of people are like, well, that's just crazy UFO stuff, right? But it's not your normal crazy UFO stuff. Yeah, like, there's, there's yeah. enough of it, right? It's, it's, there's, there's. <sighs> it's, it's serious information. Yeah. Right. It's like not from, it's not like weird cameras from nowhere. This is this is like military grade, you know, stuff, and so, yeah, and and the the Joe Rogan interview with Avi Loeb and the Lex Friedman interview with um, with um, Commander Fravor. His last name is Fravor. Definitely watch. I I, I think those two should have like everybody should watch them like the the fact that these aren't the like two of the biggest items on our news is like surprising to me but we've i mean our society is so crazy that important information just does not come to the top anymore right right and and people are like I don't know, like, just either not looking or, or it's like, uh, um, I don't, I don't know if there's a case of like people wanting to, uh, be numb, I guess, or, or just like they, oh, could, could you, could you hear me? You can you hear me now? Yeah, I, I can hear yeah. you. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, you, you said they, they're, they want to be numb. Well, so Elon Musk on Joe Rogan said that he had never heard of Commander Fravor or the Tic Tac, which made me think, you know what? If I was working for Elon Musk, 
I'm not sure I would want to be the person who's telling him this crazy UFO stuff, right? That's yeah, that's good. Yeah. So, like someone, it, I, someone would. I well, I oh, someone you would think his team. I don't know. I don't know. You would think someone would have have some uh, some interest and in, and like. Well, I mean, Joe Rogan told him to watch it. I I don't know if he did. But I was surprised when he said he had never heard of it because it's like, well, if anybody should have heard of it, it should have been Elon Musk, yeah. right? Because he's working on this stuff, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elon Musk or, or like the uh, or security people, right? Well, I mean, uh, the, the U.S. De- uh, Navy did, um, did brief the Senate on it intelligence committee and senator marco rubio like talked about it which is like insane (laughs) but yeah it's like this this ufo stuff i i don't understand why we're not i it, it really bothers me how little our society is paying attention to the important things and I think as individuals, like narrowing, uh, like like being able to to have that like like as a possibility, like like I think it's it's yeah it's 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 important. It's I I don't know uh, how else like I would I would put like uh, oh gosh. It's like almost the same place you would put uh not obvious uh, like the uh so there's like the lo- the Loch Ness monster right and then there's and then there's uh like these the uh, uh Bigfoot maybe uh and I actually have a, a story when I was uh about Bigfoot when I was going to uh, school um but but I can I can uh, say where'd you go to school uh I in uh Humboldt County. Do you know? Oh uh, yes, I know Humboldt County. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I've, yeah. I've I've never been there. Uh, <laughs> no, actually, that's not true. I did drive through there once. Uh, somebody offered me really good weed. Didn't buy any. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, yeah. That's that's what Humboldt's uh, known what for. Humboldt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did, uh, did, did you watch that? Uh, there was a uh, a documentary murder mountain there's yeah there's there's all sorts of there's uh, there's all sorts of craziness uh in in humble uh county um <laughs> people trying to, to inbred there's there's some there's some uh it, it's like an it, inbreeding uh uh central in some in some uh areas that's that's my uh all, all i knew about was the marijuana i had no idea about any inbreeding yeah 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 it's it's all um yeah yeah so so there was this uh, i'll uh i'll let my my i'm sure i'll let my friends uh comment uh <laughs> put in the comments uh yeah yeah but so oh so there was like this it was basically like Oh, people with had uh, like marijuana farms, and and it was basically uh, p- people trying to protect it, and like and like ended up uh, uh, murdering uh, people because they they yeah they're very they're very there's 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 like a bunch of craziness in Humboldt uh, County. There's, there's a lot of money involved in, in all that marijuana. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I mean, I, I don't understand how the federal government is going to continue with like keeping it illegal. They, they need to like break down and just like allow it to be cultivated. So Philip Morris can take it over all because they will. <laughs> Who's I don't I don't know Philip Morris. Oh, Philip Morris is they they make all the cigarettes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. Once once marijuana becomes legal, then 
we won't it, it'll it'll be like alcohol and it'll be a lot safer than it is now i think right because no. yeah because it'll you know and it'll you'll have legal marijuana businesses being regulated by the department of agriculture and you know the food and drug administration and i i think that's you know we marijuana prohibition makes no sense to me whatsoever right. i i think i think i think it's obvious that alcohol is worse for you than marijuana is. Yes. I'm not yes. saying yes. like there yes. are people who want to argue that like marijuana is harmless. No, I'm sorry, it's not harmless. Anything like people get addicted to food, right? And you can you can become addicted if you can become addicted to food, you can become addicted to anything, right? right. Anything that feels good. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. For okay, okay. So I think I think uh, that we should, because I feel like the government's trying to keep us off the alien uh, track right now. So so uh, <laughs> the uh, the because I do I actually that's actually really um, important. Like like the the. Um, that's really important. Um, the UFO stuff. Well, no, the 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 stuff we were the just marijuana the, stuff, uh, alcohol and, and marijuana. Oh, marijuana, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like I think that's that's all like uh, good, um, but uh, yeah, we can we can we can we can go there. I was just I I just want the government to know that we we know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we know the UFOs are there, right? Right, <laughs> right, right, right. We 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 got that. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm not sure we're big enough for the government to carry us. Uh, Although the NSA is probably listening to every everything on YouTube. Oh yeah, and I think I think they 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 uh do know I've got I'm I'm like uh like prodigal son like like I like uh material like like i think i think they uh like they uh it's, it's like the uh <laughs> what's the the movie and i'm i'm getting very very egotistical uh right now uh the uh, uh what's the what's the movie what's the movie uh terminator terminator oh okay <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Like, so, so you're thinking Skylink in the future is going to send a Terminator back in time before you made it big as a as a UFO YouTube, YouTuber. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. I right. Got it. They 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 were were uh, you know implanting like info. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> there you go. That's okay. my that's my. Uh, working uh idea but um but but yeah 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 uh, uh, but that actually that idea is kind of crazy in in a hundred years if there is time travel which i don't think is physically possible hmm. but it like i guess youtube videos would be pretty good ways of knowing exactly what was going on in every place like at this time yeah yeah it almost would be like this crazy way of like 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 at this point in time yeah creating like a a mental map of like just what was being like talked about like like yeah 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 for sure for sure and i think you could get like yeah, yeah. I'm not sure how that how that info would be like uh, useful immediately, but but um, yeah, yeah. As far as like historical um, keeping like logs, like it's a uh, interesting. Um, well, when I was when I was your age um, at that time, we we thought the internet was really forever. Like I. Every web page that I would put up 
would get indexed into all kinds of things. And like at that time, it was small enough information that like I could find any web page I ever put on the internet, like by searching for it, because it was in the archives, there were all these crawlers and stuff. But a lot of those websites are gone now because like there's so much information and things have actually come off of the internet now. Now we have so much information, we, it's, it's not all being recorded. Um, and I, I don't know, I don't know if, because honestly, like back in 1996, 1997, we thought anything you put on the internet would like, I, I, I used to be able, I, I would make a website, right? And then the next, and then I, I would, next day I could take it down, but I could still go to any of the internet archives and see it, right? Because they would index all the websites and stuff. But now I can't even go back like, and and find my find my websites from from back then. They're they're just not nowhere to be found. I I suppose it's likely that there are places where you know people have that information, but I can't find I can't find it for uh, on the internet myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's that's that's. I mean, so do you think it's just a matter of like mental? There's so much information. Oh, I mean, it's, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like there. We we create so much information these days. Yeah. That like it's it's impossible to index, store, and make available all of it. Yeah, 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 and I think that's why I've noticed people going. Um, and I don't know how, like I had this thought, like, you know, you should be quick and, and fast as, as, uh, possible. And like, and like, you should, you should have this, like, uh, like you shouldn't be, uh, afraid of information. Right. Um, but I think people have been going offline for, uh, like I've noticed people going, going offline more with, with not just like the, the Exodus uh, 90. Um, and I don't know how much of that is just like, like I understand unplugging and needing to uh, unplug and there's, you know, there's information in, in uh, more like in your domestic situation or, or, or like with uh, others, but I don't, I don't think we necessarily need to be, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how we should feel about how much information is there. I don't, I don't think we should be fearful. Um, but, but I think uh, it's just a matter of how you, how you take it in, I guess. I, I think if our society was more reasonable, like, okay, if, five years ago, some 16 year old made a stupid joke, right? right? That shouldn't, that shouldn't ruin his life. Right, 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 right. And this um, is, this is a little bit like different from the, from the indexing or, or it seems like we're, we're talking on a different, like, uh, like differently about it, but this is like, yeah, this is, this is good. It's good. Yeah. We've, we've gone like, yes through everything yeah <laughs> like yeah, yeah 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 life the universe and uh every everything who 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 uh it, it, well, Elon Musk said that to jordan peterson what they could talk about yeah 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 i i i i really want to hear i really want to hear that conversation and i don't know where it's going to go yeah but yeah. apparently it's going to happen yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm what I'm expecting is that Peterson is going to get a glimpse of that that um that I like uh that idea 
of, you know, we need to, we need to go to Mars, right? Or we need to uh, travel, uh, like, the, like, that heroic kind of, like, uh, like, that heroic principle, I guess, I think Peterson's going to, going to get, like, a taste of, of that. Yeah, yeah. And probably, probably be, be uh, thoroughly uh, t um, addicted, I guess. Like, that's, yeah. The, the only thing I can say is I think it's either going to really be completely worthless and suck or it's going to be really great. I can't see it being me mediocre. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, definitely, definitely, definitely. There's too much, there's too much uh, uh, energy between the, the two of them for, for it to... And, and they're both really, really smart and they could like just click and start like talking at a really high level, which would be awesome, right? Yes. Like the the first episode of The Portal with uh, when Eric Weinstein and Peter Thiel were talking, yeah. like yeah. I listened to that three times and I never like, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like a mini, uh, like a, like a, no, I'm sure it'll, I'm sure it'll be like fantastic. Yeah. Well, we'll find out. Apparently it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. What was the, what was the, uh, Peter Thiel thing? Oh, the Peter Thiel. Um, so por portal episode number one, um, Eric Weinstein and Peter Thiel. Um, I okay, so okay. I have to warn you. Okay. Um, I I usually listen to all my podcasts at one and a half speed while I do other things. Um, I had to listen to this at one speed. Pause it to look stuff up. And to go for walks and like just digest. And I listened to it three times at least. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so there's, yeah, uh, there's layers. I mean, the, the two of them were talking in like, and like my brain was having difficulty like absorbing it all and like like a mini like a mini like uh a mini universe being being like uh made or like okay or, so they were <laughs> they were talking about things in such a different way right. than i had been used to that i had to take time to understand what they were saying and integrate it into what I know. And, and like they would ref reference things that I had never heard about. So I had to look them up and try to understand it and then come back to the discussion. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's what happens when you get people, two people who are really like uh, rotary. Like once you once you catch that like that that wheel, like that uh, that cog uh, or that wheel, and then you and then you start sharing information at, at in such a way to where like it's it's just. Um, like you start spilling out info and people like people really like dig that yeah 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 that's that's yeah yeah uh, man so so i'm i'm thinking wait so you you have a cat right i have a dog Oh, oh, okay. I am a dog person. Okay, yes, yes, yes. This conversation was, was, 
uh, uh, brutal last time. Uh, do do you remember the? the <laughs> I forget when it or where it was. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I've 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 gotten used to this this cat. I've actually I've actually like been getting a like a, this cat's been been annoying. But but uh, but yeah yeah. And so I think that's well, apparently he, he he really likes to come into your videos. Oh yeah, yeah. Or he, she, she she has a um, a she's a camera a camera hog, right? She's she's total like, um, likes looking uh, pretty in front of the the camera. I I suppose. Uh, but people like but, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's she's uh, she's a hit. She's a hit. I'm sure, I'm sure there's there's some people who are like, oh, like of course of course I'll I'll talk to Shane, but what where's the cat? Like, <laughs> uh, where's but please, uh, bring a cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh man, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know this 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 Peterson the this Peterson Elon Musk like thing. Yeah, I haven't I haven't wrapped my my brain around like the um, like it could it could be a super important uh, like uh, you know there's certain conversations that have like it's almost like they have a uh, like an importance to them or or like a or like a uh, uh, a potency that, that like, like I remember the, um, I think the last Alex Jones on Joe Rogan, or I think it was Alex Jones number. Well, the last one was pretty, pretty good, but number two, like was, was, uh, crazy. And then I think like, um, a Peterson and, and Peugeot, but, but, um, but in the in the Joe Rogan vein, like I think I think there's some conversations that have like had had an impact, I guess, on on the way people like view things. I don't know if there was so uh, or any. I don't know if there was any podcast that you thought were like uh, like you thought made an impression maybe on the on the on the world. Okay, so I I don't know if you can hear the music from my neighbor or not. Oh. Um, but okay, good. Um, the the one conversation which I thought was really important was um, the Dawkins Brett Weinstein um, discussion in Chicago, which actually Sam Adams was there live, um, and I thought that was one of the most important discussions that there have been recently. Um, I was hoping that the Peterson um, Zizek debate would be better than it was. Yeah. It was it was still worth watching. Um uh, I don't fun. I was not a big fan of the Harris Peterson debates. Mm. I actually liked what the moderators said to Peterson more than anything Sam Harris had to say. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, as far as important intellectual events, yeah, I mean, do I... As far as an event, like a debate, I think intellectuals, right? People who have gone to college and think about things seriously. Um, I think the Dawkins, Brett Weinstein discussion is, is the most important. And as far as what I think everybody like should be paying attention to, I think Joe, Avi Loeb on, on Joe Rogan should have many more millions of views than it does. Like, I think 
generally anybody should be listening to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. I will definitely uh, put that in the, uh, the description for sure. For sure, that's that's going uh, in the in the description. Um, and then the the I'll I'll check out the 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 Weinstein uh, for sure for sure. And then I do think like the conversations that are happening with the the Discord are important on on a cosmic like level like I feel, I feel like the 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 amount uh that's going on like it's it's like a uh it's enough quantity and and like aiming for quality right there's there's both of those things are uh happening with with like uh i i haven't watched too much of uh uh, uh i haven't watched any of gavin's but then but then like charlie uh thought journey and then uh cassidy andrea like i think i think people are having like uh and sam like people people uh are having uh important important discussions yeah yeah well it it depends what we do with it like that's why i think um the discussion i just had with anthony is important right if we are able to build some sort of organization, some sort of network, which is able to incorporate more people and get things accomplished, then yes, I would agree with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think having, well, just having like material for people to like, like, you know, um, inspire them to to you know live their days right right and and feel part of like 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 i think i think that's no small feat that we've we've like got at least on the on the discord you know yeah, yeah i mean I, I, we we hopefully will develop a broader audience yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't. I, I, I have been thinking very. Uh, uh, I feel like pretty nuclearly about like the the, like I, I, I have been thinking about it pretty nuclearly, and I don't know what it would take. Like I'm sure Paul's reaching, reaching uh, people, um, uh, like a wide audience. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how like that would, you know, extending a a, a hand outward uh, would even like go. I mean, the symbolic world's for sure, for sure doing doing some of that. Like with with um, like I'm sure people are talking a little bit more about. Uh, symbolism or or been attracted to uh Pajot stuff because he like talked to talked to uh peterson um but yeah 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 i just don't know how how that um like that's one one bridge i see uh into into the the communities i guess the smaller ones well, yeah, I mean, my channel almost has 100 subscribers, which is about 200 more than I thought I would have. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm at, uh, and uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's embarrassingly uh, low, but, but I, I like, I'm enjoying like, like uh, talking to, to, people so that's that's like honestly i didn't think anybody would watch any of my videos but i figured they would be there in case somebody in like 100 years decides they want to look up a particular verse and like in the bible how's and, it going and there'll be the biblical hebrew right yeah, yeah and yeah. um i my my 
one of my videos has like 500 views and i was like whoa <laughs> that's it yeah, that's cool man, man. yeah 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 and I'll, I'll yeah i'll definitely like link your link your channel because you, you've got it. so it's basically like you're teaching hebrew right kind of yeah i'm i'm helping people use the various online tools there are to translate verses for themselves yeah even even with a very minor amount of hebrew knowledge like i recommend you learn the alphabet and um i think you know you probably want to try to keep track of the hebrew roots right um if if you're really paying attention but um mostly it's me going through so, verses letter by letter okay 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 very very cool very cool man man um oh okay um so i think um well we could we could be like okay okay so do you do you have a mini a mini hebrew lesson like do you have something you would you would like uh uh tell so like a, a beginner in in hebrew uh or 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 something that a beginner okay so so what i would say is words in hebrew have three letter roots okay and the main thing in trying to understand the hebrew word is trying to figure out what that three letter root is and looking for other words in the bible which have the same root right so when you're trying to figure out what a word means in the bible my recommendation there i mean you can go to bible hub and it'll have it'll have the verse there in hebrew with like everything including a concordance link and everything and you can easily like look into the words uh it's it's not that hard it's a lot easier than people think it's a lot easier like if if you just go through a few of my videos hopefully it's easy enough but if you're having trouble i do um I do live streams on Tuesday um, evenings, almost every Tuesday evening, and come into the live stream and I'll help you out. Um, like if okay. right now, like um, I'm available. So like, if you want a private he biblical Hebrew tutor, I'm your guy. Okay, okay. Um, I will link uh, your your uh, your channel. Um, I've I've got to uh, got to run, um, but but thank you thank you so much, man. And uh, I'll, oh, I'll talk to you later, Shane. All right, later, Matt. Have a good one.